Hi everybody. Well, I thought today I'd make a video about an accumulator. And this particular one here is one that we use as a prop for training class. Uh, it's a cutaway, so we can see what's inside of it. And uh, yeah, this is really just a typical accumulator. It's got a an input port there. And this one is the output port. And then this one here is either going to be used for um, either connecting your low side hose or gauge connector, or it could be used for the low pressure cycling switch, depending on what vehicle it's being installed in. So anyway, like I said, this is a cutaway that we use, so you pop it open and you, know, you can see the bottom of it here is really just a an aluminum can. This here is the desiccant bag. So inside of here is all the little beads, little desiccant beads that absorb moisture out of the refrigerant. You can hear them, right? And then up inside here, let's see, so that's the input port. And uh, you see there, it's just a hole into the top of the can. And then there's this white plastic baffle plate so when the refrigerant comes in, it'll hit that baffle plate and then fall down. And it'll get into the bottom of the can here, right? And then inside there is the desiccant. So then this will eventually fill up about halfway, you know, maybe about that far up. Fill up about to there with refrigerant and oil mixed together. And then kind of hard to see but up in there is where the other side of the low side switch port is and it's just going into the top of the can just like the input port uh, to measure pressure and then this pipe here you can see is a loop so this is the output port here and what happens is this tube sits inside the can right and then there's this little filter screen well, underneath of the filter screen, if I move that out of the way, there's a tiny little pinhole. So that's what sucks the oil in. So the way it works is the compressor is pulling refrigerant here on this output port. And you can see that the tube comes all the way down to the bottom to where this little hole is and then goes all the way up into the top of that baffle plate. So the idea is that in the accumulator you have liquid on the bottom and then gas up top. So we only want to have gas going back to the compressor so with the configuration of this tube going all the way up in here to the top and since it's only filled about halfway with liquid refrigerant you're only going to have gas up in the top. So the compressor is going to suck the gas in through this tube and then because of that little hole right there it's going to have a venturi effect that's going to suck oil from the very bottom of this can and then be filtered with this little screen as it sits inside there as it sits inside there like that and then this desiccants here like I said to absorb the moisture so pretty cool very simple been around for a really long time they work well and when you see it taken apart it's pretty cool to see the different parts of it and what it does and how it works so anyway, if you have any questions, any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.